I ain't gonna lie, it's a bunch of Ashton Genty highlights, but we're gonna do this one. Well, number one, let's see. Oh! He cleared him easily, fool! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. Jerry. Sign him immediately. Immediately. He just broke six tackles. Maybe that was a bad defense. Let's keep watching. Damn, bro is nice, bro. Oh my god! He hit the Derrick Henry step arm! Yo! Oh my. There's no way he falls to Dallas, bro, unless we really tank. Bro, what? What did he run? This thing is Oregon. That's a great run, bro! Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's against Oregon. He broke that. He broke that. He stayed up. Nah, this nigga. Another highlight against Oregon. Just bounced off two niggas tackling him like it was nothing. That is a man amongst boys, bro. He's staying in bounds. That's a man amongst boys, bro. Spin move. Oh my God. Who is this boy? Ashton Chinty. I don't know if that's a bad tackle or just a great runner. I think I'm going to go with the great runner because this nigga, he's insane, bro. Bro, how is that not a tackle for loss? He turned that into a freaking 20-yard game. That's a touchdown. He turned that into a Jerry. 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 I don't know if you seen Ashton Genty play and you got and, and you didn't sign Derrick Henry because you wanted to show everybody what the hell we was doing or you didn't sign Derrick Henry because you was making space for Ashton Genty. But I'm not even going to lie to you. Jerry Jones, if you sign and draft Ashton Genty. From Boise State, this Dallas Cowboys nation would erupt. He is an explosive runner. And I thought we should have got Blake Corum. He is ready for the league, bro. Literally, right now. This is crazy, bro. If he's able to do this in the league, we all know how Zeke was his rookie year. He could literally carry a team to the Super Bowl on his back. The way he's running the ball right now, bro. He looks like a miniature Derrick Henry, bro. Oh my God, bro, he's bouncing. Bro, this is the same team. I would have fired the defensive coordinator at halftime. Get the fuck out of here. Pack your bags. You're fucking taking an Uber home, my guy. Bro, he did this against Oregon, bruh. Hey, my Karina. 
Hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Bro is sweet, bro. Bro is sweet, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. He literally probably is the best player coming out of college. I have not seen a full game. I've only seen highlights. Oh my god! Oh my god! Team scoots in the hole. He's still on his feet. Sheds tackles naturally and keeps going. What a bat. Bruh, you look at the narrative from week one to week five, the consistency that he has has been off the charts. Tonight with 186, high watermark against quality competition as well. I think that 192 or somewhere around that came against Oregon, if I'm not mistaken. So that's, those are big numbers. Oh! 267 yards, 192 yards, 127 yards. 259 yards, 186 yards. This is every week. This is six weeks. That's six weeks in a row. Oh, I, I hope bro has a prosperous career and he prospers. And I hope he comes to Dallas because I would hate, I would literally freaking hate playing against him. And Dallas ain't drafted him, bro. It's like a miniature Derrick Henry. And we all know King Henry is running the league right now. And, and however many years he in. And we seen what the hell he did in Tennessee. I mean, ask Josh Norman. Ask Josh Norman. This nigga Genty. This nigga Genty. Real life. Winning the Heisman. Going first round. Then carries his team to the Super Bowl. He's going to boost the running back market. Y do y'all understand that? He will boost the running back's market. After Derrick Henry, after Saquon, after all the superstar running backs that's in the league right now tearing it up, he's the next generation. He telling him he can play, he can go out and play slot? Shit. 